Okay, so for your second code along for week five, I have your instructions up here. Um, and I want to go over a couple of things that I think are important this week. And you can see them as I talk about them, you know, in the in the document itself. And I definitely, and many of you are doing this just fine, uh, reading uh, carefully. Uh, but this time, right, we're creating uh, the P2. Um, you don't really have to copy from P1 as far as that. You can and then overwrite those files, but you know, you can create them from scratch as well. So kind of looking through here, uh, we're learning some really good positioning techniques relative and absolute. Uh, really good example there, uh, and I think it's very helpful to see some of those. And then under 14 and 15, um, because we're going to cover flex on 14 and 15, we're going to cover grid. Uh, and after you do the commits right at the end, uh, for both of them, Dave gives you some really fun sites that I'm going to actually have you work through to level 15. And so I'll just show you on Flexbox uh, Froggy and then know that the same will be true for Grid uh, CSS Grid Garden. And so let me go to Flex, like here's Flex. And what you do, and what's totally fun about this, uh, like I worked through to week, uh, level 7, I want you to work all the way to 15. And then what you will do here is you'll take a print screen. So right, if I was to take a print screen, now it's best just to take a small print screen like that. And then you'll end up, and that's what I say in the instructions, um, resize it if you did a larger one, right? You'll name it flex level and by the way file naming folder naming I'm very particular about as we are in coding right so once you get to 15 take your print screen name it flex level PNG and then create a new folder in this P2 called images and place it there and then what will happen is when you do the commit it will be included you do not have to include it in your HTML you do need to include it here so I'm just going to tell you the same thing for the CSS uh, Grid Garden. Totally fun. It was so fun to do them. If these are PNG files, that's fine. But P oh, sorry, uh, JPEG, those are fine. But again, the only, only time you have to resize them is if you're taking the whole print screen, um, you know, the whole desktop, and then you'd resize it. But knowing how to take a selective one, uh, Windows has a snipping tool on the Mac. Uh, there's a keyboard shortcut, but all operating systems allow you to do this. Okay, so coming back here. So the other thing really important this time, and boy did I run into this. When Dave talks about going, when you're doing this, especially this last one on grid, because I couldn't figure out, I was having a spacing problem. And just in general, when he shows how to uh, go into DevTools, right? Normally we're here looking so far at DevTools, but when he goes to layout and he shows body, um, definitely take a look at that um, because understanding at least at, a, at some level what that grid's doing, but what it helped me do was actually find an error I had in the code and it was such a minor error. Uh, one of the things I have been uh, that is really helpful to do sometimes is I will create a, a duplicate, uh, like if I created a style CSS1 and that actually had the solution code in it, uh, then what I would do is something called select for compare and then that actually compares the files line by line and what it did is it showed me <laughs> that I had that and that threw off the whole thing. So I know it's frustrating, but that is just part of coding is learning how to make sure you're getting those details right. And when you're not figuring out how to troubleshoot it, right? Uh, again, we, we are given the, now that's the other thing is starting this week, I think, and actually probably it was starting um, on uh, Monday's items. Dave was giving us, uh, the encode. Now again, the idea is not, and that's why I have you do the commits, because remember I grade on commits, but what's great about having that encode is if you find some that like, where am I off? You can compare it line by line, or like I showed you, 
You can do that nice little create a new file and then for select for compare and then select the next one and then, then the select with compared. So these two work together and it'll show you side by side uh, where those files are different. And uh, it took even with that it took me a minute to find it. So anyway, good stuff this week. Really good stuff. I, I love learning. I've known about I Flexbox. I felt fairly confident with uh, Grid was relatively new, but man, was it fun. Um, but also pretty detailed uh, too. So make sure when you're submitting, you're giving me your commit history for that P2 folder. Uh, and that's where we'll go. And remember, I'll look for those files uh, in addition to the coding for this week. Hope this helps.